Buff Nation, Chidozi Nwankwo. This was the number one player that I wanted Colorado to secure this weekend. When I saw the, the amount of visits that we had, who was on the list, this guy coming from Houston was a big-time priority for me, and I'm glad he was a priority for the Buffs. Absolutely massive. Um, I project him, similarly to what I was saying in my video maybe Saturday morning when it came out. This is a guy that he projects in my mind right now as an instant starter on this defensive line, okay? Pair him, you know, with a guy on the inside, such as McClellan. You know, we'll see what happens there, right? Um, big time get. Big time get. And I got some clips of his tape against Tulane that I went through, but this is a, a shorter video. I chopped it up a little bit, so we'll get into that. But first, I want to get into, again, taking you through pro football focus, all that stuff. So give me one second, and I'll share my screen. Just so you, you guys can have an idea of who this player is. Okay. Now, first off, okay, let's look at our grades. Omari McNeil. Played, uh, you know, 427 snaps. Okay. Graded 65.2, 64 against the run. He was our best defender that we had um, looking by this metric. Now, if we go ahead and go to Chidozi, this is a guy who has played one snap shy of 1,700 snaps in college football. Yes, at the AAC level, but then this past level, or past year, played at the Big 12 level, had a second highest grade of his career, 74.1 and a 78.2 against the run. That is absolutely massive, uh, especially for power five play. Again, our best run defender was rated at like, you know, 65. This is insane. Um, yes, he's smaller in stature, 5'11, 295. But he knows how to leverage. He knows how to use his weight. Does a very good job of holding his ground, as we'll see in the Tulane tape, against guys that are 40 pounds heavier than he is. Okay? This guy's going to plug up holes and allow the linebackers to have free lanes to go get the running back or get after the quarterback. Um, this is substantial. Oh, let's get into, I mean, a little bit of the stats before I, I dive into, I guess, everything. But playing nose tackle, playing inside, you'll mainly see him line up over the center or against those guards. But yeah, um, A gap primarily, like I was just saying. Um, let me see here. 19 tackles this this season, seven assists. Few quarterback hurries. That's great. One sack, one quarterback hit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a player, somebody who's going to provide a veteran presence for this team. So, with that all being said, let's go ahead, check out his tape a little bit. Um, if you haven't seen it, let me know in the comments and, and hit that like too. What are your thoughts on Chidoze Nwankwo? This is a guy that's an instant starter on this team that's instantly better than anybody that we have on the line. This is a big deal. All right, I guess we'll get started. So you'll see him lining up, again, that A gap most of the time, going up against big-time linemen, or right over here, my bad. Gets that left guard. See, there he is going up against a guy that is 335 pounds, 40 pounds heavier than he is. Um, yes, does he leave a little bit to be desired in terms of pass rush? Sure, 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 sure. But the priority needs to be stopping the run. See, he at least gets a little bit of a nice little pushback on Price, that left guard. And this was a little bit of a screen record, so I, I'm going around finding some different spots. So bear with me on this. But 
I got to admit, I'm incredibly impressed. I'm pumped to see what Charles Kelly, Sal Sinceri, and Warren Sapp are able to do with a player like Nwankwo. He plays bigger than his size. See there again. Trying to penetrate. Running back bounces it uh, to the other side, but he initially clogs up that hole pretty well. see what else we got here but i'm pumped about this guys cannot cannot say that you know uh too much this is a guy that's an instant impact player on this team already familiar with big 12 play what it takes to be successful at that level guys this round we're getting a handful of power five starters compared to what we had last year a lot of guys were coming up to this level for the first time See a little pass rush right there. He just gave a little bull rush. But imagine pairing him next to a guy like Anquin Barnes Jr., somebody like McClellan, 315, 320 pounds. Um, I mean, I see him being a very successful player and, and those guys helping him become better. Again, why haven't we seen any inside linebackers? I don't know, but if I'm an inside linebacker, I want to see who's going to be up front. Who's going to be making my life a little bit easier? Watch that play. Oh, I mean, he almost got there. Almost got there. But somebody like Nwankwo is going to make a linebacker's life easier. And then I think you're going to start seeing some linebacker commits happen because we're bringing in the big guys. Like I said on Twitter, I like those thick boys. <laughs> uh, Y'all know I'm just trolling, right? <laughs> but I love it, man. I love it. More Power 5 starters this round compared to last year. Look at how he holds that double team. Too bad the linebackers couldn't get over there quick enough when the running back was running outside. But he did his job there. And then this is one of my favorite plays, too. We can just clogging that up for a tackle for a loss. I believe this is a double team that he faces as well. Lining up right directly in front of the center. Watch how he holds its ground. He holds his ground incredibly well, y'all. And then, yeah, this was my favorite, favorite play. Again, you got Price coming over from his backside. And again, he holds the ground, holds his ground, clog up that running hole. Helps bring the runner down. This is a guy who, again, who plays bigger than his size. I wanted you guys to see this again. So here we go. <laughs> We're getting a really good player. We're getting a really good player that instantly makes this defense better. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe if you haven't yet. You know, I'm bringing Buffs, Buffs news to you guys, Buffs content. I'm a Colorado grad every day. So until next time, guys, I'm sure I'll be back with a video soon. As always, Sco Buffs. <laughs>